the eighth item I want to discuss our discussion of uh, waves is uh, normal modes of elastic membranes. Normal modes of elastic membranes. I start with the rectangular membrane. This is X, this is Y. So one is rectangular. So we can consider uh, this rectangular membrane which is fixed on all sides. free to vibrate. Uh, the easiest way to think of it is a two-dimensional string. So it has an X string and a, a Y string. So uh, we can immediately write the uh, space uh, function for this. This will be proportional to sine KXX sine KYY such that the wave number component in the x direction will give me 0 at x equals a and the other one will give me 0 at b. So kx a must be uh, let's say n pi and ky b is m times pi. It is better to write psi in this form. We will keep our discussion qualitatively here. Sine pi x a over n sine pi y b over m. Why this is uh, easier to write? Because a over n means you are dividing this thing and let's call this n and m. The first one is it's an ordered pair. n refers to the x, m refers to y. Or first to x, second one um, to y. It says that, for example, let's take uh, psi 1, 1. It, it is like this, namely, uh, Fundamental in both. Psi 2, 1, the shape will be divide the horizontal axis by 2. This we shall call line of nodes. Line of nodes. In the uh, one dimensional string that we discussed, finite string, we had the normal modes, uh, and these were the nodal points. Here we don't have points but we have uh, lines. Lines, why lines? Because of the rectangular geometry of this two-dimensional uh, membrane. And psi 1, 2 will be divide the y-axis into 2 x, uh, so no division on x And for example, let's do something else. Let, uh, let's first give a shape and then write its uh, functional behavior. So the horizontal axis is divided into three, the vertical axis into two. So this is simply psi three. 2, which is sine pi x a over 3, sine pi y b over 2. So as x is 0, this is 0. As x is a over 3, here it is 0. x is 2a over 3, this is 0, sine 2 pi. 
and when uh, x is a, we have sine 3 pi here. So what have we done? We have uh, shown how to write the uh, normal modes, normal modes of the uh, rectangular membrane. Well, what's the frequency? K here, K square is Kx square plus Ky square, which is here, n square pi square over a square plus m square pi square over b square. So k is pi root n square over a square plus m square over b square. And omega is again u0 k in this game. I'm not even writing the equation. The tension here is the surface tension, not the linear tension of the rope, but the surface tension. I've not even derived the uh, differential equation, we just assumed it as uh, two-dimensional, uh, two one-dimensional elastic strings, which gives the answer. Now, there are nice applications of this uh, for, I'm erasing this. For example, consider a membrane like this. The question is, what is the fundamental frequency? Now, uh, we may play with this. For example, let's say this is phi question. Can it be written as, apart from normalization, psi 1, 2 plus or minus psi 2, 1? This is a function of x and y. This is the x the y. So this is sine pi x over a sine pi y over b plus or minus we are just making a trial sine pi x over 2a there is no b a sine to a, a over two. A over two, sine y over a. Namely, y in this case divided by two. So this is plus or minus Phi x, y. This is a and a, therefore this line is the x equals y line, or y equals x. So we want phi x, y equals x to be zero. These are already zero at, uh, at x equals a, this is zero. At y equals a, this is zero. Uh, so let's put y equals x. So it is sine pi x over a, sine pi y a over 2, plus or minus sine pi x a over 2, sine pi y equals x over a. Obviously, we have to take the minus sign. Then 
it will cancel and it will be zero. So phi x phi, phi over x y is psi one two minus psi two one. Well, what is the frequency? Frequency is here. This is k. Omega is omega is u zero times k, and this is equal to two pi f. Therefore, frequency is uh, u zero over two pi k, and k is pi root. Each of them have the same frequency because 1, 2, and 2, 1. So it is 1 over a square plus 2 over a square. So it is u0 over 2 a root 3. This is 2. Sorry, 4 square. Four. It is five. Okay, so it is u zero over two a times root five. That's the that's the uh, fundamental frequency of this um, isosceles uh, triangle. Right triangle is 90 degrees. So much for the uh, rectangular membrane and applications. In passing, uh, I will just remark in passing on other types of membranes. So I'm raising this part. Circular. So suppose we have a circle. So this one is. What are the lines of nodes? Lines of nodes. You can think of, for example, uh, circles. For example, this circle is coming up. This insides. It's coming up, the rest is going down, and there could be many circles, and there could be such lines or nodes. In fact, both of them can occur. For example, one could be this one and that one. We will not do these. They are related to the uh, Bessel functions. We will not go into that. But uh, symmetry tells you what the lines of nodes are. And the last one would be the angular wedge. Again, by eyesight, we can see. So suppose it's uh, opening by theta, and uh, this is r, and this is tied down, so it has zeros. Where are the lines of nodes? Again, the symmetry tells us there are the group of lines of nodes like this, and uh, straight lines that divide this angle into two, three, etc. Let's Divide it into two, for example, here. You can divide it into three, four, five, etc. So this is the end of our uh, qualitative discussion of the membranes, which are not 
in the rectangular form. And for the rectangles, we did not really drive the differential equation, but just assumed it as a two-dimensional string. Thank you.